So, so there's two examples of the, of the pure culture. And then from this, you can take spores from this and, and make up a formulation and spray, but really to do this on a large scale and to be sure that you, can, um, you have an isolate that's capable of being product, produced on an industrial scale, it's actually better to produce it using a standard technique. And what we do is we take spores and we put them into a liquid culture look pretty ugly this is a metarhizium in liquid culture uh, it's it's grown on a shaker like this okay for just a two or three days and once the fungus is grown in that liquid medium then uh, it's ready to be transferred onto a solid substrate and we use cereal substrates such as rice or barley um, and we'll grow the fungus on that it'll grow colonize the the um, the solid substrate and, and, and sporulate and then we can extract the spores and I've got some bags here. Um, and it's the spores oh, that you actually would then apply the to the mosquitoes? The spores are like the seeds and the spores are the things that will germinate and infect the mosquitoes. So this is some dry fungus yeah. on some rice. So you can see the white and you can see the rice and if I just tap this you'll see some of the spores as they come off it looks like dust okay oh yeah yeah so that fine dust there are hundreds millions of, of spores in that in that dust now we can extract that using a cyclone or, or even just by sieving and we get a pure spore powder and I can show you that and then the idea would be that you take that pure powder, apply it to a bed net, and off, you're off to you, the races. You formulate first. So you can use oil formulations, which make this, the spores very stable and protects them from, from environmental stresses like high humidity, which will um, encourage the spore to germinate. But once it's germinated, it's got to go for it. So by protecting it from high humidity until it actually comes into contact with an insect, keeps it viable for longer in the environment. Um, yeah, I've got some spore powder. I've got tons of spore powder. We package it into um, I like it was just like in lunch bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that's there are 60 grams of spore powder there. That's a huge amount. That that's I don't know how many bed nets that would treat, but hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. And um, and when they're they're sealed in these foil sachets, a bit like your coffee in the morning, um, they will store for years under refrigeration without losing any viability. Um, so um, you know we have a very stable method of, of storing these. Once you formulate them, again, in oils, they'll, they'll, they'll last for a long time. And this is isolate dependent. Some last longer than others, but um, you can store them in oils. This, you can see the spores have settled out into the bottom here. And I can give it a shake. And that's what you could soak your bed net and in. And this is what you can spray on a bed net or on, onto the walls in a, in a house or under the eaves or so on. And, yeah, the... the the oil will s slowly evaporate and the, the, the spores will stay where they're put mm -hmm. until a mosquito alights on that surface and then we'll take up a leaf and boost. <laughs>